Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brake master cylinder reservoir replacement or a brake fluid reservoir replacement. This is on a 2006 Dodge Ram 1500. I was getting an ABS and brake light with an error code C1008 and C1009. Basically your brake fluid sensor has gone bad or isn't reading properly. Here you can see I am using a regular old flathead screwdriver to pull the safety clip or red tab to unplug the sensor. The replacement part I got was the whole reservoir with the sensor. I purchased it from the dealership and the part number is 6805-4878-AA or 6805-4878-AC. Here I am removing the singular bolt that is securing the reservoir in place. I'm using a 5mm socket, however it requires a Torx or Star socket. The 5mm socket was all I had on hand at the time. Be sure to check out the details on all the parts and tools I was using during this job. I was lucky enough to have the 5mm socket on hand and thankfully I didn't strip the star bolt. I recommend going to get the correct star socket if you want to do this 100% right, but for me it worked. Now all you got to do is just give the reservoir a nice little wiggle wiggle. Uh, you may spill some brake fluid, but no worries, it shouldn't hurt anything, just wipe it down. Um, I just use my fingers to plug the holes, that way it doesn't completely spill everywhere. Also it's probably recommended to bleed your brakes after this process in case you get any air in your lines. However, when pulling the reservoir off, the fluid was filled to the brim and I gave the old truck a test drive and I've had zero issues with braking. So as you can see, whenever I pull the reservoir off, there's still some brake fluid overflowing. So I wasn't really worried about getting any air in my line. Next up is the new reservoir. I did fill it with some brake fluid. Um, this calls for DOT3 brake fluid. I don't think it was necessary to add in some fluid in there before putting the reservoir on. However, to each his own. Um, next up is putting the bolt back in. Um, once you got the bolt on, then you can put everything back the way it was. I also want to give a shout out to my father-in-law and Blue Driver. They're not really paying me to do this or sponsoring me, but Blue Driver is uh, pretty much a Bluetooth code reader that you can plug into your computer, connect to your phone, Android, iPhone, and it'll tell you what type of codes it gives you after it scans. Uh, it was very helpful. Um, highly recommend getting this as a Christmas gift or something. But anyways, I'm just putting everything back to where it was, filling up the reservoir with fluid, um, putting the clip back in, pushing the red or safety tab back in, and then placing the cap back on the reservoir. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, appreciate it. Thank y'all.